She is beaming and can play with her friends. Looking at Martha now, it is difficult to fully realize what this two-year-old has had to endure over the last year. Martha's stomach started swelling so severely that three months ago, she underwent life-saving surgery. When Martha reached years old, she was attempting to walk and all seemed no more concerning her health and physical condition. But soon that was all about to change. Fevers started attacking her. The clinic nearest her gave her antimalarials for treatment, presuming it was a bout of malaria, but to no avail. It wasn't long before her stomach started aching and then swelling. The mother got concerned and took her again to the clinics. And they told her that the condition was beyond them to manage. So they referred them to Wakiso. There's, there's I think, a district hospital in Wakiso. And that is when they suspected that she had, she had cancer. Chemotherapy treatment began, but that came at a high cost. After the first cycle of treatment for Martha, her family could no longer afford. Well, that was the case up until Martha's family was put in touch with Bless a Child Foundation, who provide invaluable care to cancer-stricken children. From the reports that we're getting from uh, the Cancer Institute in Mlago, the, the, the tumor was not responding very well to the chemotherapy. And they recommended surgery. Cancer is treated either using chemotherapy, surgery, or radiotherapy, or a combination of the three. Her mother is now praying for remission as she waits for her last cycle of treatment. So what exactly has Martha been suffering from? She has what is commonly known as Bucket's lymphoma, a highly aggressive and often life-threatening tumor. It was first discovered in Uganda by surgeon Dennis Parsons Bucket back in 1956. Over 50 years after its discovery, Bucket's lymphoma is causing a real problem amongst children in equatorial Africa. There are two types of the tumor. It is endemic in Central Africa and New Guinea. The most endemic type of Bucket's lymphoma is related to the epstein barr virus, EBV infection, which has been detected in 90% of the cases. World Health Organization, WHO reports, suggests that annually there are on average 6 to 7 cases per 100,000, and with most cases peaking at an average of between 6 and 7 years old. The place where they, they receive uh, treatment for their cancer, which is the Mlago Cancer Institute, are doing a great job. But they are also overwhelmed by the numbers. Uh, the highest number of um, lymphoma cases come from eastern Uganda and then western Uganda. And, and these, are, these, are, these are economically challenged people. That is the thing with it. It is painless. The warning signs of Bucket's lymphoma are so subtle that it may take some time to detect them. Seven-year-old Joel, before being diagnosed, had no idea what was wrong. He wasn't crying, so they, they ignored it. But it got bigger. He could no longer hold his neck straight. It was always bent because of the size of the tumor. Despite its fast growing nature, Bucket's lymphoma is often curable thanks to breakthroughs in modern intensive therapies. So the link between catching it early and early treatment is awareness, teaching the parents what to look out for. The most commonest symptoms of Bucket's lymphoma are painless lumps in the armpits or groin, weight loss, fever and excessive sweating at night. Other symptoms include itching all over the body, a loss of appetite, breathlessness and possible swelling of the face and neck as blood vessels become blocked. Weakness can also be experienced because as cancer cells grow, they use up more of the body's nutrients. At Bless a Child, a temporary haven for children, treatment is provided as well as allowing the children's carers to have a well-deserved rest from caring for a sick child. The foundation is now planning on extending outreach centers to the eastern and western parts of the country where most children cannot receive adequate support and treatment. We've had cases where parents come and they are diagnosed with cancer and then they take, them, they take their children back to the village to die because they cannot afford the treatment. So Akiba Home Blessed Child Foundation comes in to try and ease the burden. Bucket's lymphoma's adverse effects, according to medical experts, will only be fought effectively if quick diagnosis can be improved. But this remains a challenge, as many health centers are low-level health centers with non-qualified staff. It appears the fight against Bucket's lymphomas still has a way to go. Florence Nalimba, NTV. <laughs>